Hi, and welcome. Tonight we're going to be working on our uh, F-150 SCX-24 from Axio. We got the uh, magnets for the body clips. So that's working pretty good, nice and strong. And we're going to be adding a whole bunch of parts. We got Enjora steering knuckles. We got the uh, steering links from Enjora. We got the metal drive shafts. We got unbranded uh, wheel um, axle spacers. Get the wheels out a little bit. We got the Enjora links to do all the links. We got a hot racing belly skid plate. And we got the hot racing uh, brass wheel weights to go on. Let's take the body off, flip it over, and start working on this thing. All right. Got the body taken off. And uh, let's get some of this junk out of the way here. So, where to start? I don't even know. What would be the logical place to start with? I guess just taking it all apart would be the way to go. Go from there. Okay, just getting ready to put the last link on. Metal link, we got our drive shafts installed. And we uh, gonna put the last link on here. First we gotta get the little O-ring over the little knuckle. So I don't know if you can see that. I put the O-ring on top of the uh, nut driver. And then it just kind of makes it a lot easier to fight it over the little knobs and get it into place. And just like that. there we got our o-rings installed now if we can get this guy back into where he belongs and everything will be just all right Tighten. We don't want to strip it out, but we want it good and snug. And there we go. Pretty snazzy. All right. We got our links installed. We got our metal drive shafts installed. Some nice smooth action there. So, what do you think we should do next? Okay, we're uh, putting the brass steering knuckles on. A little heater noise in the background. Still wintertime here in Canada. Now we take it out. Take the little stub shaft out. Got to pull the bearings out. Put them into the new one. And there we are. Don't go too tight. Don't have any binding.
All right, got the hot racing skid plate. Just tightening it up here. Good plate links, metal drive shaft, brass knuckles, metal steering linkage. Man, this thing's looking pretty darn good. Okay, so now we've got wheel weights, hot racing, and some unbranded axle extender, axle nut extenders. So let's see if we can get these wheel weights in here. Whoa. these axle extenders on so we can use the same little pins in there and we put one of these on So some guys don't like these axle extenders, not axle extenders, eh, wheel nut extensions. I think they'll be alright. Guess we're gonna find out. comparison there's a stock axial SEX 24 and there's with the axle extenders you see how much wider it gets it a little more stable in the hills on the side slopes so that'll be kind of interesting okay how are you guys doing well we got our f-150 finished here We've got uh, our metal drive shafts, our metal links, our skid plate, our brass wheel weights, the little wheel nut extenders. Put a diff cover on, brass diff cover on the front. So let's uh, let's see how she goes up the hill of rocks.
got to trim the front fenders just a little tiny bit here. He's rubbing just a little bit. That sucks. I don't really want to do this. But I feel we must for the good of for the good of climbing. So let's see if we can. Okay guys, we just had to keep trimming and trimming and uh, eventually we got it so the wheels don't rub too bad. Really looking forward to some warmer weather where we can get outside and run these uh, little trucks around. Um, starting to warm up around here. Won't be long now. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Catch you guys on the next one.